This video covers the pentagonal and hexagonal geometry written in the bedrock of Hornby Isle in British Columbia and its unique orientation to Machu Picchu. This geometry relates in a surprising way to the geography of the Himalayas and ultimately the world via repeating digits encoded in the measurements. First consider the importance of the numbers 5 and 6. Among many examples, perhaps the most powerful is that they are encoded geometrically in our DNA at the very foundation of life. The importance of 5 and 6 is also acknowledged esoterically, being reflected in the dimensions of the most prominent Masonic talisman, the Uber Obelisk Washington Monument. This tallest obelisk and tallest granite structure in the world is 555.5 feet tall to the nearest half foot, which is 6,666 inches. We'll start with the hexagonal geometry and briefly review this phenomenon that is covered in other videos. Overlay Hornby Island with a 3D map of its topography and see that it has hexagonal geometry expressed by two of its ridges. Hornby is situated like a fractal within a larger hexagonal system of the Comox Valley. Notice that the hexagon's dimensions and their relationship to one another can be expressed as repeating digits while being a best fit to the bedrock geometry of the valley. This system of hexagonal bedrock geometry is aligned with Machu Picchu and Mount Kailash, the so-called seventh or crown chakra of the earth and most sacred spot of billions of people. We'll define all of the geometry in this video by the Machu Picchu alignment. There is a special point on Hornby defined by the termination of three ridges, a hard to explain configuration of sedimentary bedrock. One of these ridges is very distinctly lined up with Machu Picchu for nearly a kilometer leading away from the point. Following this azimuth shows that it leaves Hornby Island exactly at Dunlop Point. Positioning an octagon with an apex at the triple point shows a precise geometric relationship of Phipps Point to our triple point, Dunlop Point, and Machu Picchu. Projecting the octagonal azimuth, it eventually arrives right between Aluru and Katajuta. This spot is well known as being sacred, and I show this alignment because Aluru is said to be the third of seven earth chakras, the solar plexus. This means that two of the seven chakras are now implicated as important to valley geomancy. Besides Phipps Point being at this precise octagonal angle to Machu Picchu and island topography, we can see that a 6,666 foot circle drawn on our triple point runs exactly through the high tide mark of Phipps. Based on this geometry laid out by first principles, we can sweep out a golden ratio angle and find that Grassy Point, another most significant human geography spot on the island, also fits the same geometry. This 6,666 foot distance being set using repeating digits that fit the terrain and geometry is further supported by a short aside about the hexagonal Holt Naval Communication Station in Australia and its remarkable relationship to the size of Hornby.
The golden ratio along with repeating digits led me to the realization that the triple point and ridge aligned with Machu Picchu are at a golden ratio point with respect to the geography of the island. Consider a pentagram that is aligned with Machu Picchu, positioned by the triple point, and sized to encode the 6,666 foot dimension in one of its phi relationships. With these constraints, the center of the pentagram aligns with the Hornby hexagon, marking a point where the landscape transitions into the hexagon after following the pentagram from our triple point. This is quite a remarkable coincidence considering both geometries are constrained by landscape, Machu Picchu, and repeating digits. We see that a line from Machu Picchu to the bottom apex marks the southwest boundary of the island. You may ask if the top boundary is marked in a similar way. Zooming out shows it to be defined by a line from Machu Picchu to the center of the Union Bay hexagon, further tying the geometry of Hornby to that of the valley. On Hornby, this line actually passes over the iconic Gullwing house that is shaped like a hexagon. Notice even on the smaller scale, a line leaving the island corresponds with a point. Bringing in one more line from Machu Picchu provides the framework to create another pentagram that encodes 6,666 feet and is therefore a golden ratio scaling of our triple point pentagram. Position this so that its crotch is aligned with the triple point pentagram. We see that it corresponds to island topography, bounding it to the southeast in a similar manner to how the island's northwest coast is loosely bound by the triple point pentagram. The crotch is another significant human geography point, in this case a sacred site as well. The Yurt Temple at Deerheart Sanctuary rests at this point and has served as a dedicated sacred space since 2004 when Michel St. Pierre set the space aside intuitively recognizing the power of this spot. Bringing in another line from Machu Picchu shows how Ford's Creek running behind this spot is aligned and how it returns to this alignment at its mouth. The Deerheart pentagram is a fractal of the triple point pentagram and so has a 6,666 foot circle associated with it, albeit at a different phi dimension. Turning on the triple point circle shows how close they are to touching at a tangent. Notice also that the center is at the tip of the triple point pentagram. Drawing a third 6,666 foot circle centered on this point shows it passing within 30 meters of two apexes of the Hornby hexagon, including the pivot point at the top of Mount Jeffrey, further linking six and five. Create a pentagram sized and oriented by the two we've already established, and you'll see that one of its bisectors goes directly through the Hornby Community Hall, a most significant human geography point. This bisector is also a Deerheart pentagram bisector that runs through the yurt. Now take a copy of the triple point pentagram, i.e. one that is at the same size and orientation, and place it based on our Machu Picchu to triple point line and on a crotch of the pentagram framework we've just created. This third pentagram now fits the tip of St. John's Point and the whaling station Anderson Drive part of the island. Bringing in one of the Holt circles shows how it comes within 40 meters of the Heliwell pentagram and how the Pole Peninsula is shaped by regular geometry related to 6,666 feet in the same way that the third circle in the aside video came from first principles and followed the shape of Heliwell, so did this third pentagram. Recall the defining connection that fixed the placement of the Deerheart pentagram. If you project this around the globe, it comes to the mouth of the Ganges River where it bisects the coastline at a pentagonal angle. On its way, the line passes within 10 kilometers of Nantrabarwa, the easternmost anchor to the Himalayas. This anchoring is clear when the Brahmaputra and Sango rivers are highlighted. Defining the eastern Himalayan boundary, it curls tightly around Namchabara, identifying the mountain as the last in the chain. The westernmost boundary of the Himalayas is also marked by a great Asian river, in this case the Indus, and the imposing mountain Nanga Parbat. The pentagonal framework on Hornby also relates to this peak with the bisector from the yurt through the hall continuing on to within 28 kilometers of the peak of Nanga Parbat. Pull a circle from Hornby to Nanchabarwa and you see that Nanga Parbat is within 20 kilometers of being the same distance from Hornby as Nam Shabarwa. Just to be clear, 
This means that these two most important peaks are almost centered on Hornby in a pentagonal relationship established by Machu Picchu and a 6,666 foot distance. These two peaks marking the boundaries of the Himalayas dominate the surrounding landscapes being the second and third most prominent in the Himalayas after Mount Everest. They are both associated with incredibly deep gorges as water rushes to descend the massive vertical rise. According to Wikipedia, both the Indus and the Yarlung Tangpo Grand Canyon are claimed to be the deepest in the world, reaching a depth of more than 5,000 meters. The Himalayas follow a circular arc between these two peaks, establish a center point exactly 666.67 nautical miles from both peaks. The circle passes within 15 kilometers of Mount Everest. The Himalayas are not the only geographic feature associated with a circle of 666.67 nautical miles. Features on all continents show a correspondence. Furthermore, a most interesting human geography connection reflects the distance of the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem, the holiest site in Judaism, being exactly 666.7 nautical miles from the Kaaba in Mecca, the holiest spot in Islam. The bedrock of the Comox Valley is oriented to Mount Kailash with a hexagonal relationship to Machu Picchu and therefore is related to the Hornby pentagonal orientation to the Himalayas. Furthermore, the edge of the Hornby hexagon is exactly 6,660 miles map length to the foot from Mount Kailash. Given these remarkable connections, it's worth noting how the mountain is situated between the headwaters of both rivers that define the boundaries of the Himalayas. Drawing a circle through Mount Kailash passes within 6 kilometers of K2, the second tallest peak in the world, which also lines up with Nanga Parbat to within 3.5 kilometers.